All right, unfortunately, I got to make a part two because I don't know what I touched. And the screen just went poop. There's my kitty cat anyway. Hi, kitty. He was about dead, right? I'm going to go get him some food. Maybe some water. He gets thirsty. But what was that? Hell. Folks. The devil's made the word hell a cliche. Um, Pearl Jam made a, a, a song called a glorified version of hell is good, something like that. No. 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 Hell sucks and then you die. In the fires. The lake of fire, which is quite clearly described in the scriptures as being in the belly of the earth. <sighs> home sweet home. All right, let's, let's feed the kitty cat. Okay, here's... <laughs> I want to show you something. Wow. Okay, anyway. Hell? Can we prove its existence? Can you prove it's real? I can tell you what the scripture says and that's it. Let me show you what happened to my pillow. Look, let me show you. Guess what this is. Guess what this is. Can you see that? That is overnight. Is that a dead one on the surface there? I can't see. That's overnight. But it ain't, I ain't in the worst scenario there is. It could be worse, ladies and gentlemen. It could be worse. Okay? Don't ever think that, man, I'm tough. I had like, uh, if you think that what was me stuff, I understand. Trust me. I'm right there with you. I blame God like I was saying, if you check out the, the first part of this, I blame God for everything. Everything, you know, I'm like, look, could you have stopped? Could you have stopped it before it happened? You know, could, could, did it have to be so horrendous? Like, when does it stop? Okay, those are the questions that I have to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Are you allowed to ask those questions? Of course you are. Of course. I would tell you to be careful. All right, let's see how good my knife is, folks. This frozen piece of chicken. See how good my knife is. I got the um okay the name escapes me because this is called get high and preach. But um my sharpener I have stone and I have steel. And uh I'll tell you the one thing that will keep me or, or kick me out of the kitchen if I need a sharp, good knife. I got the little Dexter here. And we're on bone. And it split the bone. And it worked just fine. Okay. Yikes. 
Come on! That's ridiculous. I cut through the whole chicken, but I can't get the string. So, if I can keep my thoughts straight, it's, it can always be worse, man. And somebody does have it worse than you. So, you know, try not to to, to dwell on, to try to find if there's anything positive, okay, because there have been a couple things that I'm not exaggerating, I'm not lying, I'm not trying to eat out, uh, who cares, right? Yeah, I have been close to myself to uh, leaving. And uh, I get scared every single time because I got that feeling, man. That feeling that you just don't want to prove right. But if you want some kind of evidence, I can't do anything more than show you a volcanic eruption. And the science that shows uh core of our planet is molten and man every time there's an eruption <clears throat> the, the scripture says that hell enlarges herself to meet those who are coming so personally I believe that volcanic eruptions are a direct result of that spirit. That it's pure, untainted word. It says, hell is in the, sun, in the lake of fire in the center of the earth. That your soul will never expire. Your soul cannot be destroyed. You know something? I, and I'm going to venture out here a little bit and dare to say this, but it pains God to put you in hell. It pains God to put you in hell because we're made from God, through God, by God's own hands. So, a little bit of himself is suffering. we do something stupid. Let me explain that to you. My beautiful wife, I don't know if I'm burning a torch for her. I don't know. Probably not. I do still love you. But, um, I got a call one day. Well, I made a phone call one day and spoke to her and everything seemed fine as fine as it could be anyway with me being a jail scum a prisoner again and um, she says to me the next day I call she says I have a friend we're going to the circus and my soul was crushed instantly gentlemen you know there's no such thing as our friend. Okay? So just knock it off. Just knock it off. I mean, it's possible. It is it is possible. I'm sorry. Let me back up on that. That It's not impossible for a male and a female to be friends. But it is impossible not to have those thoughts about that female friend. Or It's not possible... Um, not with my ex-wife. It wasn't happening. There, that I knew exactly what it was because, and I hate to say this, but I'm usually not wrong. That's all right. Seventy-five percent is pretty good, but that's only because I overreacted. 
a few times. Anyhow, when I heard that she went to the circus with my children with this man, I'm pretty sure my soul left my body for a second. And when he came back, it was torture. It was a nightmare. It was horrible. The pain was unbearable. And I laid on my floor and, lit, and I cried a, a puddle of tears. A puddle of tears. Like you spilled half a cup of water. A puddle of tears. And started to say out of my mouth those words, there is no God. I started to say that and very quickly was checked because there's absolutely positivity. God didn't do that. I did that. God gave me that beautiful, delightful person. God put me there. And I destroyed it. But the point I'm trying to make is this. You know what he said to me? This is how you make me feel every time you sin. Every time someone sins, that's what he feels. How many times is that a day? Is there even a number? to accurately describe how many times men sin in a day. Don't believe so. Kitty? Kitty cat? Come on, kitty. Careful. We make God feel that every time that we go our own way. He feels that whenever we decide that our way is better than His way. I am guilty. I am absolutely, positively guilty. There is no doubt about it. I'm not pretending, you know, that I'm not something. All I know is that I am a man saved by grace through faith. And that is it. All I know is that without the blood of the Son of God covering me, I'm going into that lake of fire. We're talking the bottoms of your feet need to be covered. We're talking complete enveloping in the blood of Almighty God. Dipped. <sighs> Time's almost up. Church was eye-opening this morning, fellas. Um, I brought a friend, and, uh, well, unfortunately, the teaching was about women and husbands and things like that, and I just couldn't help but think, oh, no. But um, I don't think it was, uh, I think that, you know, she enjoyed, it would have been nice to go out to some lunch somewhere, but I think I've blown that bridge up um look I'm gonna be flat with you all I want to talk about is the word because really there's nothing else that I have in common with anyone on this planet we can talk about the word we can talk about both sides of us growing in the word learning from each other I hope you guys showed me some things this morning that I wasn't even considering uh, and that was about the stones around our heart um 
Oh, by the way, fellas, look, the walls of Jericho. Okay, um, this is backed by um, archaeological evidence. Those walls melted. <laughs> the walls of Jericho melted. They carried the ark around it, and it melted the walls of Jericho. Tell me what. Um, and the household that Ray had the heartache, that's amazing because I was speaking about that to someone yesterday at work. We were talking about that. They knew that name inst instinctively somehow because God is writing the word on everyone's hearts. This is the time when he said he would do that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this video through now. It's after 15 minutes, but... Um, Ask God for the heart of flesh, but expect a lot of pain, too, because sometimes taking those stones away that we place there ourselves is going to hurt. And, uh, oh, man, I kind of regret. I don't know why. I'm looking where I had those movies sitting there. And I got to get over that. You know what I mean? God said that he would provide for me. Um... I've been trying very faithfully to obey his word. And um, in, in many things, look, some, I'm not ready for some things, okay? I'm doing the best I can. I'm sure that you're doing the best you can. I'm not trying to change your religious beliefs. I'm not trying to convince you of mine. I'm telling you the truth. If you don't want to hear the truth, that's fine. Write whatever horrible comments you, you feel like writing. Um, Money Mike. Um, Money Mike. What a silly name, really. Oh my gosh. So anyway, I don't. You can leave comments or not. You can subscribe or not. But I wanted to make sure that I made a video where we all can be on the same page without the blood of Christ covering every. Miller, every piece, every section, every scale, whatever, skin, I don't know. If you ain't completely covered in the blood of Christ, guess what's going to happen? You're going to hell. And that's that. Heaven, I can't preach on heaven. Don't I know the measurements. I know the streets made of gold. I know the tree of life, the Ark of the Covenant, um, the throne, the 24 thrones, the feast. Um, somehow, one way or another, we're probably going to know each other. But other than that, I don't know anything about... Heaven doesn't drive me. I'm not here for money or for fame or for any of that. I'm here just to tell you the truth, okay? Eight people watch my videos. So I'm talking to eight people. The truth is, if you ain't got the blood, you're going into the fire. You can look up Joel 2.32. That's the best place that I can lead you Old Testament-wise. Check it out, read it, and then do it and live it. God bless you.